Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Techie Phoenix. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to overclock your Ryzen APUs. You see these APUs, which are mainly found in laptops. So let's begin. First, you need to open the browser and then go and type AMD UProof. Then click the first link then it will lead you to this website so go down all the way down to this and select the OS windows and just click that link then go down and click the accept button then your program will be downloaded so let's check the next app which we need this is called the Ryzen controller. This is built for overclocking AMD Ryzen processors. And just go and click on the first link and download it. Then it will show a sub website like this. Then go and click download here also. It also will be downloaded. So the next step is to open the download section and click on the AMD UProof setup. The setup will automatically run and you just have to click next, next, next and it will be done. So let's open it up. This is the end MD UPro. You have to click here, then tick this all as I show here. Set profile. It will automatically start recording your current input in the processor and processors TDP and now let's go and open setup of the Ryzen controller click the setup then same as before click next 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 install it Our setup is finished. Now if you want to open this Ryzen controller app, then first you need to open the AMD UProof and run it in the background. Then only it will work. Then go ahead and open the Ryzen controller. As you can see, you have this type of interface. You can max out the TDP up to 65 watt in this but it will be very dangerous you can actually fry your APU so let's go ahead to the CPU set and check our processors name in this case I have the Ryzen 5 3500U it will also work with Ryzen 5 2500U and the processor with name series U. Let's go to the AMD website and check the Ryzen 5 3500's max TDP. Go all the way down. Here as you can see it have max TDP of 35 watt. From 15 watt, we are going to upgrade it to about 25 watt of TDP because more than that, I think it will get heated. 
so we will just put it up 30 okay so let's go to the GPU section here you can set the minimum Vega IGPU clock frequency means you can actually improve the FPS also so here you can also increase the minimum boost frequency of your CPU also this CPU has 4 cores 8 threads you can actually increase the frequency of the infinity fabric also in the processor so this app gives access to every component of your processor to all clock it and take precaution that you may not fry your laptop so that was it for this video thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it please give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel this is Techie Phoenix signing off bye bye